Hey there, this is Yoshi. <clears throat> Today I wanna repot this. Well, this is not really repot. It's actually potting because it was never in, uh, I should say, it was never potted. So it's, there's no repot, is there? <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, um, I just wanna talk about a little bit about when you buy um, division without any roots. Uh, now, I actually do this quite often. Um, there's a certain person who always sells um, no roots division at uh, Northwest Orchid Society shows. Uh, I think I have like a three of them and I rooted it myself and then I uh, put it up and uh, um, <clears throat> I think it was this summertime, uh, one of them bloomed. It was called a uh, Fair Queen, F Fairly Queen or something like that. Um, some of you have been subscribed uh, for a while, uh, probably has seen those. Um, very beautiful, uh, fragrant Cattleya. Um, now this one is, um, huh, I forgot the name of this actual uh, hybrid. This is supposedly, um, naturally hybridized um, primary hybrid that is um, Anseps and uh, something Finkel I'll put the um, name here <laughs> I forgot I should have made a, a tag already and I will do so uh, in this video but uh, yeah so basically cat layers uh, even when you're repotting um, there's a certain timing you should uh, look at because uh, uh, the roots sometimes could be uh, pretty finicky and when you uh, report it in the wrong timing, the roots die or roots won't grow in uh, but it, it, it won't root well, I should say. So when you are putting up uh, cattleyas, you should look at this indication if you can see this, this, you can see better this way, yeah? The new roots coming out. Uh, that's when you want to uh, put up your cat layer. Um, this one um, was a fairly fresh division, actually. Um, my friend had this uh, at, displayed at uh, Northwest, Northwest Orchid Society and uh, this division particularly just fell off naturally by itself. It was a huge pot. So uh, I waited a little bit and see if the roots would come out sometime soon and it surely did. So now it's time to uh, put it up. Now, um, I'm using, it's sold as orchid pot, like at Target, Home Depot, whatever. Um, I put some, uh, Lava rock on the bottom. Oh, by the way, while I was rooting, I was uh, just uh, put this one and put a uh, sphagnum moss on the bottom and I uh, just let it sit and give it uh, some uh, moisture. So, and uh, here's the potty media some more lava rocks, a medium sized uh, uh, bark and charcoal and uh, uh, perlite. Um, and uh, I'm using this wire uh, to uh, uh, stabilize it which is pretty important when you are uh, rooting something any orchids actually uh, the orchids wants to be stabled when it's trying to root out so that's what I'm going to do um, yeah it didn't really take a long time from actually rooting uh, we had a show, or not show, the meeting on second Monday, December. And that's what, when I got this, there was no roots. And uh, it's been like two weeks, a little more than two weeks and it's already rooting. So anyways, um, I want to start potting up like this a little bit. But then um, I know I'm going to use wire. So I'm going to uh, 
cut some wire as much as I need it. And so what I'm gonna do is um, I just cut this wire to the length, whatever. I don't know how much I would need, but just go through this like that. And the one end goes to the hole here. And the other end goes to the other side of the hole, which is right here. Like that. And if it's too long, I'll just cut it. And I think I want to be like around here. New growth is coming out here though. Oh yeah, new growth is coming out here and also here. So mm, I think I want to go like this a little bit. So this could come out and this could come out. Um, and now that position is set. And uh, when you try to repot this kind of a root, try not to break it though. It's very precious. All right, and that's enough. Now, what I want to do is, see this two ends, I want to go like this and tighten it. Is it tightened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, see, it won't go anywhere. It's a little bub wobbly, but uh, here's what I'm going to do though. I'm gonna go here one more time and hoping to see it goes through again. Maybe I should have done that first, but or maybe I should go up from inside. There, that's easier. Yep, and go like this. Basically, I want to uh, st stable it so the roots will have a better time fix itself to or attach to something, if that makes sense. Okay, now it's kind of uh, tied together. And then what I'm gonna do here is use plier and start tighten it see it's less wobbly now yep see it's really stable now yep i like that maybe a little more how about that now yep and i cut this part that i don't need There you go. And what a how quick, right? Kind of wanted to stand up a little bit more though, but like that maybe. All right, so that's it. And uh, I'm gonna find out the name actually and then I make a tag and put it in here. All right, so 
Here's a tag. Lelia Finkeniana. Albida cross anceps. That's what it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous findings from uh, Northwest Orchid Society. Thank you, George, for giving me this division. Anyways, yeah, quick uh, potting for rootless uh, Calia. Thank you for watching, and you guys have a good day or good night. Bye.